and smile because Noah's taking photos. Okay. Two, one. Don't do this. <laughs> well, actually, that was a nice that was fall. like a nice fall. Okay. Oh, no, Come okay, here. I'll fall. Two, one. <laughs> if you don't kick hard enough, you're going to fall this way. So kick. Yeah. Okay. Another fall? Or? Uh, let's just go in. Okay. Two, one. Okay, spider rock. Woo! Okay, so when you push up, keep your legs that way. Don't. Okay, all right, one more. I like this doing the falls yeah. first. <laughs> all right, come on. Here. This is the one that put me out for one month, so I have, I really, really want to teach this just for me and also to prevent the same injury from you guys, okay? This, this hands here. This actually me out for a month too when I was yeah. this, so. Okay, first principle of back row, help but don't hold. If she's falling forward and you're holding her hands, she is eating it. Do not hold. Help, but don't hold. Okay? Oh, yeah. So one, two, one. Can I have you fall onto me, but kind of roll? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like this, fall from this? Like yeah, fall from, uh, fall from here. And instead of uh, falling that way, roll onto me. Mm -hmm. Like? Yeah, two, one. <laughs> That's a better fall than going forward. So if you're going to fall as a fly, continue to that, that roll and land on your, your base is safer. Yeah, exactly. If you're feeling like it's falling when you're flying, just curl into the roll instead of like trying to go somewhere else because then it's bad on your wrists. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do it. Spider roll. Nice and strong. Beautiful. Okay, this time when I get you here, I'm going to pop and have you fall all the way down. Does that make sense? Two. Strength. Hold it, Sarah. Noah's taking a photo. Beautiful. Popping two. One. Beautiful. All right, let's break down spider roll. We start in uh, reverse throne we end up in reverse throne all these things we're teaching is uh, all these washing machines are loops they start from one place and they end in the place that we began okay so it's just like a season it starts this is spring spring actually I consider this fall fall and this is winter winter is when it, things get hard right we get into an L sit I like these fingers here. It helps to support her. Okay. Shorten the distance with your legs. Walk this foot first onto her shoulder. Do the walk first before you do the free stuff. Help with this foot. Trace her up. Bring this other foot on. Get her to start, okay? Walk back down. Nice and slow. I'm pushing off the arms to straddle. This is a dynamic move from here back up to uh, reverse throne okay she's grabbing my thumbs so it acts like, acts like a what do you call it? like a like a nut and it's like a ball and joint yes ball and joint is a good way to describe it exactly so that way it's loose so I can spin her around otherwise if I grab like this it's a little harder it's like killing my yes wrist. yeah so she grabs my thumbs and then you just help support her up from here okay up Dennis, will you throw me this, the camera, please? Thank you, sir. You get a good camera angle so we can get the uh, feet placement. Okay, Sarah. So again, here, wrist. Take one foot off, put it on her shoulder, walk it up. The other foot helps guide her weight over. Her hips must stack on top of her shoulders, and then you can press up. Don't press up before, otherwise she'll fall back this way, okay? Wait for her hips to uh, stack on her shoulders. Sarah, tell me, what are you doing? Okay, so from, just from here? Mm -hmm. All right, so from star here, as you step down to bat, flyer wants to be really strong in their arms, keeping their elbows in, and the base as well will keep their elbows in and be strong, and you can feel the tension from both sides and that's going to help you slow that drop down to from start to straddle that 
So then the next thing, as my hands, so we grab the thumbs there around the thumbs. Now as he pushes me up, I can use his, basically his thumbs and his wrists kind of as leverage. So, so once I get to here, you see how much, how like my hands are right there into his... And watch my feet, they have to slide down. Yeah, and I just bring my feet down and over and get to where I can wrap my, wrap my feet around his... Back. If my feet are extended, it's really hard for her to stand up, uh, sit up, so I'm going to... Bend my knees, meet her in the middle, so that she can stand up, uh, sit up easier. Pushing motion and a little bit of absolute, just sit up there. And so then, once you're here, from the top, coming down, getting a really nice hand grip. You don't want to rush this because this is, like he said, it's winter. This is the hardest time of the year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so just take it nice and slow. Make sure you get a really good hand grip. And like you can feel like you can even hold your own weight already. If you're trying to go free and do the arm balance there, then yeah, you really want to make sure that you're, that you're holding your own weight. I curl my back in a little bit to hold, to get that, that titibasana, which is the yoga um, yeah. name. So. so then, but if we're stepping, so either way, really strong in the arms the whole time. Um, as I roll my hips up over onto his shoulder, Still really strong in the arms, just like we're doing that tripod headstand. And then as the second foot comes up, just finding your balance, making sure that you're not doing like crazy things with your hips, throwing your hips around. So staying really nice and uh, nice and tight there, pushing through the arms, doing that tripod headstand basically the whole time. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Let's come down and come out.